All right, so hey guys, how's it going? So uh, in this video, we're going to be picking up uh, where we had left off uh, from the first video with the, uh, the lecture on Kerma, Collision Kerma, and Absorbed Dose. And we're going to be uh, working through problems uh, 7 through 12. So uh, with that being said, let's get back to where we were. So problem 7. A 6 MeV x-ray interacting with polyethylene produces a kerma of 10 gray and a radiative kerma of 0.3 gray. Calculate the fluence in centimeters squared. And I've provided the mu e n over rho. So uh, right off the bat, we need to remember two formulas. And that is that kerma is equal to uh, the radiative kerma uh, plus the collision kerma. <clears throat> and also that the uh, collision kerma is equal to the energy fluence times the mu e n over rho. So first off, we need to calculate the uh, collision kerma. So we can use this formula. Uh, we'll substitute in kerma and radiative kerma, rearrange for collision kerma, and calculate. So notice that uh, we can break down the energy fluence into energy times fluence. And then uh, we'll plug in our values. And then we can now uh, rearrange for fluence. So all we've done here is we've uh, moved the quantities to the other side and we've added the unit analysis uh, to essentially convert it to uh, fluence which will be in centimeters uh, to the negative two. So here we have our final answer. Okay, so moving on to problem eight. Uh, what is the formula for energy transferred in a volume? So uh, for these questions and uh, for the remaining questions, there's a lot of uh, memory work involved. Uh, you have to memorize the formulas and memorize uh, the quantities within the formulas, what they mean, and also uh, how to perform the example calculations. So it's a lot of memory work, but uh, I think you'll get it and uh, have some excellent examples for it. So uh, problem eight. Part A, what is the formula for energy transferred in a volume? And I'll, I'll actually ask you the uh, quantities in the next question, so I'll just uh, show it to you quickly. What is the formula for net energy transferred in a volume? That's the formula. The only difference, of course, is the, uh, the addition of this quantity, which is the radiant energy emitted as radiative losses by charged particles which originated in the volume regardless of where the radiative loss events occur. So they're very uh, busy definitions each of these terms but uh, let's just keep going and I'll, I'll uh, sort of explain it as we go along and show examples. What's the formula for energy imparted? So this formula applies to uh, uncharged particles uh, which is denoted by the U and charged particles which is denoted by the uh, C. Uh, so, for example, this term, it's the radiant energy of uncharged particles entering the volume B. Let's move on to part D. What is the formula for calculating kerma? So essentially all it is is uh, this line, it, it designates the expectation value, so it's the expectation value of the energy transferred in a volume divided by uh, the mass, right, dm. Collision kerma can be calculated by the expectation value of the net energy transferred divided by dm. And lastly, absorbed dose can be calculated by the expectation uh, value of the energy imparted divided by dm. <clears throat> uh, so let's just go through these quantities here because uh, it is a lot of memory work. So for part A, essentially uh, this term means it's the energy transferred in a volume to charged particles by indirectly ionizing radiation. Uh, it could be photons or neutrons. For B, what does this term mean? It's the radiant energy of uncharged particles entering a volume B. C, what does the uh, sum of Q mean? 
It's the net energy derived from rest mass and volume. Uh, and it, it's positive when it goes from mass to energy and negative when it goes from energy to mass. So typically they're talking about uh, in-flight annihilation, but there could be some other examples. For D, what does this quantity mean? It's the radiant energy of uncharged particles leaving volume, excluding that which originated from radiative losses of kinetic energy by charged particles while in volume. So busy definition. And what does uh, this quantity mean lastly? It's the radiant energy emitted uh, as radiative losses by charged particles, which uh, originated in volume. The radiative loss can be inside or outside the volume. So typically, this is uh, they're referring to Bremsstrahlung in this case. So let's sort of, uh, for problems uh, 10, 11, and 12, we're just going to work through uh, some example problems so you can get a uh, feel for the formulas. Uh, so problem 10, a 10 MeV electron is incident on a volume V of air. In the volume, the electron produces three Bremsstrahlung x-rays that leave uh, the volume with energy 1.5 MeV, 0.5 MeV, and 0.25 MeV. The electron then proceeds to leave the volume with uh, an energy of 5 MeV. So let's calculate the uh, different formulas, starting with energy transferred. Notice that the answer is zero. Why is that? Because they're saying, this electrons charge, remember, right? These formulas, uh, the energy transferred and net energy, energy transferred are applicable to uh, uncharged uh, particle entering the volume. So this is char electrons charge, has a negative charge. So the answer is zero for B, same thing, right? But for C, remember that uh, it applies to uncharged and charged. So uh, this is the formula, of course. So we have our uh, 10 MeV. In this case, this represents a 10 MeV electron. Uh, oops, yeah, and it represents uh, this term, which is entering the volume. The uh, R out charged the five this is the 5 MeV this is the uh, electron leaving the volume with a 5 MeV uh, energy and then uh, R out uncharged is now your Bremsstrahlung x-rays 1.5 0 0.5 0 .5, and 0 0.25 MeV which equals 2.75 MeV total now using a diagram Let's calculate the energy transferred. Once again, there's the formula. So in this case, notice that we have, uh, this is uh, uncharged, in this case, a 1 MeV. Uh, now we have um, negative 0 0.215 MeV to represent uh, this quantity. And there's no uh, sum of Q uh, in this formula. So now we our answer is 0 0.785 MeV. Moving on to B. Notice that, of course, the only difference is it's factoring in the uh, Bremsstrahlung energies in this uh, formula. So we have essentially where we left off uh, with the formula for part A, which is the energy transferred. But now we're going to factor in the uh, Bremsstrahlung in this quantity. So negative. 0 0.07 MeV, which is this Bremsstrahlung. This is uh, 0 0.01 MeV from this Bremsstrahlung. It can be in the volume or out of the volume. So, like I was saying before, you have to be very careful with the uh, definitions for each each term. It is a lot of uh, memory work. And for C. Uh, so in this case, uh, there's our formula. We have our initial photon, 1 MeV, representing that term. And then we have uh, subtract, representing um, the uncharged uh, out is all three, right? Oops, yeah, sorry, it's uncharged uh, within the volume. So it has to be within the volume, so not the 0 0.01 MeV. We have, so it's the uh, 0 0.215 MeV, 0 0.07 MeV. And then this is actually the uh, charged out, this energy, 0 0.6 MeV, representing uh, this quantity. And there's our final answer. Okay, so here's another uh, situation. But in this case, um, 
you're going to be dealing with the creation of a uh, positron electron in flight annihilation. So let's say this volume has a, uh, we're going to say the volume has a mass, uh, 1 times 10 to the negative 9 grams. And let's go ahead and calculate these terms. So for energy transferred, so in this case, um, we have negative uh, 2 HV squared. And this is for, um, this is actually for the energy out, right? So it's uh, 0 0.511 MeV in this case. That's where this comes from, the negative 2 HV squared. And now we have to get to that, uh, sum now we're getting to the sum of Q. So in this case, we have uh, HV1. We're going from mass uh, to energy, so it's positive. And then we have the uh, it's mass to energy, energy to mass, and then mass to energy again within flight annihilation. But they, those two uh, cancel each other out with the um, energy to mass and then mass to energy. Those two cancel each other out. But uh, you're still left with... Um, you're left with that uh, HV1, right? Which is uh, mass to energy again. So the result is uh, it's HV1 minus 1.022 MeV. HV1, this is from mass to energy. And then uh, the 2 times HV2 uh, is from uh, this quantity. It's a bit confusing, I, you know, I suppose. But you'll have to work through uh, enough problems to get the hang of it. For net energy transfer, essentially it's the same thing. Nothing really changes. There isn't any Bremsstrahlung in this case. If there uh, was Bremsstrahlung, then uh, this term would come into effect. And then for C, calculate the energy imparted. Same answer, right? Nothing really changes. Uh, in other words, it's the same answer for uh, energy imparted. Now, for part D, uh, we're going to calculate the collision karma just to give you uh, an example on how you you know how you calculate it. So um, we found out in a, in part A, B, and C that the answers were all the same, which was HV one minus one point zero two two MeV. But uh, let's go ahead and calculate it just so we have a numerical value. So HV one of course is two MeV. I get the answer of zero point nine seven eight MeV. So remember that. Um, Collision karma in this case is equal to the net energy transfer over the mass, right? Which is 1 times 10 to the negative 9 grams within this uh, volume. So I can go ahead and plug in uh, our energy for net energy transfer, 0 0.978 MeV over um, the mass. But we're going to have to convert it to kilograms, remember, because we want it in uh, collision karma. The units are uh, joules per kilogram or gray. So that's all we've done here. These are the uh, unit conversions. And we get our final answer which is 0 0.157 joules per kilogram or gray. So uh, that's essentially 12 questions uh, on the topic of kerma, collision kerma, and absorbed dose. And, uh, and overall I think I gave some excellent uh, example calculations. And I'm actually starting to get towards the the end of uh, most of my calculation lectures, uh, covering a lot of the basics. I can think of a couple other topics, um, like I could do uh, electron monitor unit calculations, perhaps uh, like a lecture going on charged particles. But uh, so far, I'm very happy with uh, you know so far like this lecture and a lot of the other lectures. But uh, I'll probably still be able to come. With up with uh, a couple more great lectures. Oh, also, there's still a uh, narrow attenuation to be done and uh, CP. Uh, so with that, I'd like to uh, thank everyone for viewing, and uh, hopefully you found my uh, this lecture to be very valuable. And uh, if you already know the material, it's still a great review. But um, you know, of course, many of the the quantities in this lecture they require a lot of memory work. Um, so I think that's it. Uh, thank you. Bye.